Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the car rental system project using ASP.NET MVC. I already run this project in Java and C-Sharp.NET. One of my friend who requests me, me to do this project in ASP.NET MVC so that I done this project in ASP.NET MVC car rental system, right? Here this is the, when you run the project, this is the home page of this one car rental system here okay here they are it consists of uh, these parts car registration customer rent and rent a car and return a car right so okay, if first i am going to register the car click on the car reg right i already registered the three cars right? now i am going to register the new car so click this one link create new right here you will be able to create the new car here I am going to enter the car number, so I am going to enter the car number as 4, right? You can enter the any car number here. Um, make here, I am going to write as Honda. Model, I am going to write as Shift, right? Availability, yes, right. Here, this car has been created successfully, very easy stuff. Uh, if you want to uh, edit to delete the details here if you click the link edit button you will be able to edit the car right you will be able to edit the car right okay now if you want to edit like this something like that click save here it's edited successfully right here it's edited successfully here it's edited successfully right? if you want to delete the car you will be able to delete the car here click delete button it asks the confirmation are you sure want to delete if it is click delete car has been deleted right it's very easy stuff to do it right here it's deleted successfully right perfect right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to register the customer click the customer link this one here first i'm going to click create new customer right i'm going to create the customer first i'm going to create the customer as john the customer name i'm going to create john address i'm going to create as india mobile number i'm going to create something like that right click create Okay, first one. I'm going to create a, another customer, Peter. Address India. Mobile number, something like that. Click, click right. I have been created two customers. Right. Now I'm going to rent a car. Uh, these are the cars available. Right. Now first I'm going to create the rent link. Right. So here, first, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to select the car, which car you are going to rent. Right. So I'm going to select first first one, right? If the car is available, yes, it's all the sex books, uh, the text box will be enabled to, right? Now here it asks to add, uh, add the customer ID, right? Okay. Now I'm going to add two. Two mean John. If it is three, mean Peter, right? These are the customers, right? Customer IDs. Okay. These are records added into the database, right? After click save button, right? Here two mean John. Three mean Peter, right? If you enter the customer ID correctly, it automatically display the customer name below, right? Now here enter the uh, rental fee below, right? Here starting date, we have to enter the starting date today date, right? Uh, we have to enter the today date, end date has been level, right? Okay. Now if it is save data, right? Here it's it saved successfully. Now the car availability uh, uh, has been changed it as no right it is changed it as no right okay now if you want to uh, book the another car if you select the car number a001 here it's not available here it's here it's not available you can't order here it's already here it's you can check the history here it's already here it's it's not here here okay now what i'm going to do is here here i'm going to uh, do the stuff is here I'm going to change this one as 2. Here it's visible. Now add as customer ID to uh, rental fee. I'm going to select like this. Uh, you have to select this, this car as well and 20. Right. Okay. Now if you click save button, right. Second one should be no. Now you have a, these two cars are not available. Only this card is available. Right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is when the person return a car, it will be true. Here. If you go to the return uh, car ID, if you have to type the car. This is a car here. If you if you type the car here, here, it's there will be no fine available because if the 
there, there will be the fine will be calculated if we it's not this time, right? If we enter the car number, right? Okay, right. Okay, here there will be no elap days calculated, right? If you uh, deliver the car uh, before the uh, date, there will be no fine should be calculated. If there is, if you are not the and or the car uh, on time, there will be the fine for each day for hundred rupees, right? It will be calculated. Now, if it is saved, it will save successfully. Now, you go here, uh, rent part here. If it is available, yes, right? Here it's available, yes. You can now you will be able to order the car here. Here it's available, yes, right? Very simple system I made in uh, ASP.NET MVC. Uh, I'm going to teach this system step by step today, right? Now, what I'm going to do is here. First step, I'm going to this one, I'm going to. Uh, close the project now first I'm going to open the new project so go to file new project select uh, c -sharp .net, web you have to select this one asp.net web application click okay. it asks to create the template I'm going to create the template as MBC right click OK now your project is successfully created uh, this is the uh, model view controller. This is the meaning of MVC, right? So first what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to load the model, right? Model first. So first what I'm going to do is here, go to the uh, database here. First, this is, I have already installed SQL Server database. So here first what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to make the connection, you have to connect, right? Uh, while you installing the database, I'm going to install, give the SQL server authentication and I have installed. While installing, I'm going to enter the password as admin123, right? I have connected, right? Your database is connected successfully. I'm going to create the new database. So here, this one, all the stuff I'm going to remove it. We don't need that, right? Okay. First, select the database. This one, select the database folder. I'm going to create a new database. Here I'm going to create the new database as uh, supercar, car rent, per car rent. I just, super car. I just give the database name as supercar. This is the naming of, uh, name of our uh, database, supercar, right. Right. Now your database has been created with the name of supercar uh, first i'm going to create a table right so you have to click this plus sign and expand the database there will be the folder called table click on the select the table right click new table here you have to write the table uh, column names right first one should be the id this always uh, auto incremented so you have to write the data type as int uh, go to the properties column properties identity specification is identity make it as yes right auto incremented by one right second one i'm going to uh, with here we have to select as primary key right it is important stuff right after that car number this is must car number right this one should be the watcher this one should be the watcher you have to write uh, watcher watcher right Third one should be the make. This also watcher. This one should be the model. Watcher. This one should be the available. Right? You have to write available. All right. This one also we have to create as watcher. Right. Right. Okay. These are the columns we have to create by the database table right now after created all the stuff click save button it tasks the table name uh, i'm going to give the table name as uh, car registration so we have to uh, just uh, give us car reg simply you have to shortly write car reg right click ok right after that your this is your table table here is created successfully with the name of car reg i'm going to go to create another table which is a customer table so select the table right click new table uh, first column I am going to create this one ID. This also auto incremented. So int 
select this one uh, go to the identity specification is identity yes here we have to select this one set primary after that we have to select uh, write the custom cast name customer name watcher after that uh, address watcher after that we have write a uh, mobile right mobile also we have write int right these are the columns okay created by the customer table right uh, custom name cast name uh, address mobile right okay now what i am going to do is here we have to save we have to give the identity specification if we give right we have to give right right okay now what i am going to do is click save right here we have to give the name as customer right customer this table name as customer right okay now let's select the table right click refresh it right we have created two tables successfully uh, another two table we have to create it rent, uh, re rental table and uh, return table we have create those tables later on now let's go to the project right now uh, first i am going to load the model so select the model folder first go to the select the uh, model folder right click add new item uh, this one data ado.net entity data model click at right generate from database click next here we have to give the database connection right new connection here server name you have to press dot mean it's local host right this is the local machine so that you have to i have to write dot right after that here i have to give the sql authentication right while i am installing the sql server i have selected sql authentication so sa yeah, what is a uh, user username and password while i installing the database uh, sql database i gave here given here after that we have selected the database right my database is super car right this is my database here this is the database you have select right you can check your test connection your database connection everything correct or not click here test connection test connection succeed okay click okay now here you have to click this option yes include the sensitive data data is this one right yes next now here you have to select these tables click on this one after that you have to here these are two tables right click finish now your data model is creating right your model has been created successfully this is the two tables car registration and customer table right this is the columns right now what i am going to do is here after create the model successfully i am going to create the controller so how to create the controller go to the controller folder first i am going to create the controller as car controller so select the controller right click add here controller right select this th third option mvc controller view entity framework if you select this one view also generated here right uh, once a control is created view has been generated here right so click add right here first controller should be car controller we have to write first letter should be capital this is the efficient way to create the control right here model class you have to select the model car reg right car reg okay this is a model class here the car reg should be there car registration right you have all the table columns should be uh, added here right here you have to set it the super car entities right this one right click at now your controller and view has been creating uh, here the problem is here you cancel it after model is created you have to build and rebuild the solution right Re rebuild the solution here model here this is the super entities right this is super entities right this is one okay now here what i am going to do is here go to the controller again i am going to go add controller third one add car controller select this one relevant model and relevant entities click at right 
your controller and view has been created this is a controller car controller double click on this one this is a car controller this is in a index action method right it goes to the view page right we have the view page you just click select the index action method go view it goes to the view right your view is here inside the view folder car here this okay create delete details all the things should be there right so far. this is the thing you have to do first right now what i'm going to do is here now first go to the shared folder right here shared folder i am going to make the link for the uh, car okay now if you run this application you can check here here if you run run the application you can check what 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 do here if you run this one first time there will be no links okay here is no there will be no links available car there will be no links available car okay okay so how to make the link of here at the menu bar there will be no cars okay so what to do is here if you make the links it's very easy stuff right uh, this is a model folder controller we have created here this is the view folder go to the view folder we have the view this is a view folder right we expand it right inside the view you have created the class only uh, car only car create uh, delete all the stuff there the, the, the same thing here you, you, you can show here see here shared folder inside the view folder there will be the folder called shared folder right inside the share folder there will be the file called layout.cs cs uh, this one this file double click and open it right okay here this is the layout of the style sheet right this is the layout right now here you can make the links right uh, there will be the here home about us context there are three links that should be there now about us and uh, context us we no need this one instead of that i am going to create this one as a car it's a car controller you no need to write the controller here okay only car only the car what is the name you have put in the control this only thing you have to write here home only no, no need to write controller okay car controller what is the method you are going to access in text action method car controller in text action method mean car controller in text action method this is a car controller index action action method mean it show the index page of the view right here this index section is a view inside the view index section. okay that's the thing you have to call right okay now here also you have to write car right that's the thing you have to write okay that's the thing you have to write uh, after that let's run the application check right now let's check now here click on the car this one okay now here you will be able to add the car so click create new here you can add the car okay i am going to add the car something like that car right a001 just like this car number uh, make i am going to write honda right shift available yes right hit uh, create button your car has been created successfully here if you you can edit or delete okay you can do all the stuff here right uh, now here the problem is here you can notice this car number make model these are not efficiently display here car number i am going to change this display name as professionally this uh, letter should be capital right the make also the same thing right how to do this task okay uh, here when 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 the data is display it is auto generated code so that what is you wrote in the database here what you are wrote in the database what you wrote in the database same name will be display here okay what you wrote what you given the name in the database table here this one this make right because it is a auto generated right so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to instead of that i'm going to uh, make it as our own one so let's back to our project let's stop it here what i am going to do is here go to the model this is a model folder right select the model folder i am going to create another class right click add class here we have to this one should be we have to create as car validation we just write as a car validation that's it add 
perfect. Now here what I am going to do is here now, here we have to write a partial class here, we have to write here public partial right, partial car values right. Here class name I am going to change as the same name this car registration, what is, what is your model? Uh, inside the model folder here car registration this is the same name right if you double if you double click on this one the same thing right here the same name you have that right car registration the same thing you have that here okay so you have right car reg right okay this is the thing you have to write okay so you have that right like this okay after that what I'm going to do is here here uh, we have to write a public class again I write public class public class we have to write here car uh, registration meta data right like this meta data open and close bracket inside here we have to write the uh, display name so display display name you have to write here is display name you have to write here is car number you have to write car number like this okay perfect here here we have to write here open and close open and close it right perfect done perfect this is not error you have to add the model here right working perfectly now here instead of here the same property double click on this one you can get it here the same properties okay you control c to copy this is your car validation.cs go here you have to paste control v to paste here instead of this name i am going to ch uh, change the display name should be visible like this right the same thing display name control c to copy control v to paste here instead of the, this make you have to make this one this make okay the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here instead of this model you have to make this model the same thing control c to copy control v to paste below here control c to copy control v to paste this is available right that's the thing you have to do right now what i'm going to do is here go here we have to write the above the partial class we have to write here meta data type type we have to write here uh, type of you have to write car registration this one the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here car registration metadata we have to write like this okay here also you have to add the notation using component notation right that is the thing you have to do right the simple stuff now you can run the application and check what happened here it changes successfully right this is very easy stuff you can check here it's very professionally it's changing right this is how you can change the name right you don't worry about the very simple one in asp.net right now what i'm going to see we car part i completed successfully the same thing you have to do do in the customer as well so let's go to the controller i'm going to add the new controller as customer controller select this one uh, select the controller folder right click add controller third one add customer right customer you right select customer customer right model choose from customer super entities click at right your customer controller has been created successfully uh, now what I'm going to do is here. This is the view of the customer. Yeah, view has been created itself. Uh, after that, what I'm going to do is here the layout for file. You have to make the link here, right? Car. I'm going to make the link here. Car action uh, controller index action. But the same thing you have to write here is customer controller index action method. That's it. Here also customer. Right. That's the thing you have to do. Right. Now let's run the form and check. Right. 
here if you click customer it goes to the customer as well right okay the same thing right the same thing you have to do in the customer as well the customer name address mobile also you have to change as a customer as well right the same thing right here how to do the same same thing is here let's stop the project the same thing right uh, here go to the models click on the models right click add create the class this one should be the customer validation customer validation validation right customer validation now here same thing you have to do like a uh, uh, car registration part so here also you have to write here this one should be the customer class customer customer right it's a customer it's a customer right customer this one should be the customer right here this one should be here, sorry you have to write this one partial partial class this one should be the customer This one you have to add as a custom validation as a custom, right? Okay, perfect. After that, what I'm going to do is here you have to write here as uh, the same thing, right? Go to the customer part. This is a customer. Click on click on this one. Uh, customer name and address and mobile. The same thing you have to copy. The same thing. Control C copy. Go to the customer validation. Control V to paste here. Here also you have to display name, right? You have to write the display name here. You have to write the same thing. Display name. You have to write like this here. You have to write here. Customer name. Customer name. Here also you have to add the this stuff. Sorry, here we have to. We didn't write the. Uh, class metadata class so we have to write public class customer metadata metadata we didn't write here inside here you have to write here this one and here this bracket here to close it here right you have to write here okay so sorry. now this one you have to write here you have to add the screen now the same thing you have to write the same address as well. Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. This one should be address, Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. This one should be address. Third one should be the same thing, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. This one should be a mobile. Right. Now here we have to write here is the same thing you have to uh, add here as you have to write here meta data type. You have to write here is type of customer metadata. Customer metadata. You have to write the customer metadata. This one. You have to write here. here also. You have to add the notation mark. That's it. That's the thing. You have to write the customer table as well. Right? Display name. You have to change like this. Right? Now let's run and check whether it's working fine or not. Let's run and check. You have to write. It's working perfectly here. Okay? If you click customer, here yeah, it's working perfectly, right? It's changed here, right? It's working perfectly. Uh, if you go here, car, it's working here, right? Uh, I hope you guys you understood the things well. In my next tutorial, I'm going to teach you rental part and uh, return part. Right? Uh, I hope you guys you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me.